Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang solving vector operations using calculator. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So, so far ay meron na akong different videos about vectors kung saan is na-discuss ko na kung paano isolve yung different operation sa vectors manually. Okay? So, hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, isililing ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Ngayon is gagamit na tayo ng calculator para mag-solve ng different vector operations. Kasi kapag nagsasolve tayo ng problems, mas madali kung gagamit tayo ng calculator kapag kailangan nating mag-solve ng vector operations. Particularly sa applications nito kapag nagsasolve tayo sa engineering mechanics. Like sa statics, kapag meron tayong forces in 3D, right? nag involve tayo ng vector. So, hinahanap natin yung resultant forces, resultant moment, which gumagamit tayo ng cross product, addition of vectors, and so on. So, para mas mapadali yung ating pagkocompute ng vector operations is gagamit na lang tayo ng calculator dito. Okay? So, maroon lang akong examples dito. So, given vectors A is equal to 2i plus 3j minus 4k, vector B is equal to 5i minus 6j, vector C is equal to 8i plus 9j minus 10k, find, so we have 1 to 7. First one is magnitude of A, B, and C. 2. Unit vector in the same direction as A. 3. A plus B minus C. 4. 2A minus 5B plus 3C. 5. We have the dot product of A and B. 6. The cross product of B and C. And 7. The scalar triple product A cross B dot C. Okay, so diretso na agad tayo sa calculator para may pakita ko sa inyo kung paano isolve itong mga problems using calculator. Okay? Okay, so using calculator, punta lang tayo sa mode 8 for vector. And then magtatanong siya kung anong vector tayo. So, meron tayong tatlong vectors na pwedeng inputan ng values vector A, vector B, tsaka vector C. So, vector A muna tayo. Press 1. And then, nagtatanong siya kung ilang dimension. So, yung Vector A natin is 2i plus 3j minus 4k. So, meron tayong 3 dimensions, right? Or meron tayong 3 components. So, 3 yung pipiliin natin. So, 1. And then, input na natin yung mga values ng ijk. So, dun sa una, meron tayong 2. So, 2i equal pangalawa plus 3j. So, 3. Then, pangatlo, negative 4k. So, negative 4. Okay? Then, ac... Then, shift 5 for vector uli. And then, press 1 for beam. Tapos, piliin naman natin si vector B. So, press 2. So, this time, yung vector B natin is 5i minus 6j lang. So, dalawa lang yung component, ij component lang. So, 2 lang yung pipiliin natin. And then, input natin yung i component, 5, equal yung j component, negative 6. Okay, then AC, then shift 5 for vector uli, dim uli for 1, then, then pindutin natin yung vector C naman, right? Yun na lang hindi natin nagagamit, so 3. And then yung vector C is 8i plus 9j minus 10k, so tatlong component, so press 1 for 3. And then, input natin yung ijk component, so we have 8i, so 8 equal, then plus 9j, so positive 9, then... Minus 10K. So, negative 10K. AC. Okay. So, na-input na. Naka-store na dito sa calculator natin yung values ng vector A, B, at C. Pwede na tayong mag-solve nung different required. So, yung una, magnitude down ng A, B, at C. Okay. So, para ma-solve yun, pindutin nyo lang itong height. Kasi meron siyang abs, right? So, shift abs. Then, shift 5 for vector, piliin nyo yung, dun muna tayo sa magnitude ni vector A. So, press 3 for vector A. Close parenthesis, equal. So, ito yung magnitude niya. 5.385164807. Okay? Then, para naman sa vector B. So, shift, hyperlet for abs, then shift vec, 
Ngayon, yung number 4 naman, 4 magnitude ni vector B. Equal, so 7.8102496767. Okay? Then AC, last for the magnitude ni vector C, shift height, shift height, then shift 5 for vector C naman. Press 5. Close parentheses, equal. So the magnitude of vector C is 15.6524.7584. Okay? Now, for number 2, unit vector in the same direction as A. So, may formula tayo dun, di ba? Na yung unit vector in the same direction as A will be the vector A itself divided by its magnitude. So, therefore, shift 5 for vector and then piliin natin si vector A sa so number 3. Then, divide natin sa magnitude niya. So, shift hype for abs para sa magnitude ni vector A. Then, shift vector Shift 5, vector, A, press 3, para makuha yung magnitude niya. So, vector A divided by abs vector A, ito na yung unit vector in the same direction as A. Equal. So, 0 0.3713, 0 0.557, and negative 0 0.742, yung IJK component ng unit vector in the same direction as A. Okay? Then, Number 3, A plus B minus C. So, ito madali lang. Add lang natin yung vector A. So, shift 5, 3 for vector A plus shift 5, vector B, right? So, 4. Then, minus shift 5, vector C. 5. Equal. Now, kung napansin nyo, nag-error yung ating sagot, right? Kasi, yung vector B natin is hindi nag-conform dun sa size ng vector A tsaka vector C. Kasi yung vector B is, yung dimension natin na sinet is dalawa lang. Kasi 5 ay minus 6K lang siya. So, para masalab natin to, baguhin natin yung dimension ni B. Pero, lalagyan natin ng zero value holder yung kay component niya. Sige, so shift 5. So, press 1 ulit tayo. Then, piliin natin yung vector B, 2. Then, baguhin na natin. I-overwrite na natin. Gawin na natin 3. Yung kanyang dimension. So, 1. And then, re-input natin yung B. So, this time, 5i minus 6j plus 0k dapat. So, 5, negative 6, and 0. Okay. So, therefore, pwede na natin i-add yung a plus b then minus c. So, shift 5, vector a, so 3, plus shift 5, vector b, so 4, minus shift 5, vector C, so 5. Okay. So, this time, the answer is negative 1, negative 12, 6, or negative i minus 12j plus 6k. Okay? Next, number 4, 2a minus 5b plus 3c. So, this time, merong mga constant na nakamultiply doon sa ating vectors. As well as, isusubta kasi, add natin sila. So, pwede yon. So, 2a. So, 2, shift 5, Vector A, so 3. So, 2 times vector A minus 5B. So, 5, shift 5, vector B. So, 4. Minus 5 vector B plus 3C. So, 3 times shift 5, vector C, 5. Equal. So, the answer is 363, negative 38. Or 3I plus 63J minus 38K. Okay? Next, 5A dot B. Okay, so this time, press shift 5 for vector, then vector A, so 3, then shift 5. This time, may makikita ka yung dot, right? Yung number 7. Ibig sabihin nun, yun yung dot product. Press 7, then shift 5. So, ida dot siya sa B, so vector B, 4. Okay, so vector A, that vector B is equal to negative 8, which is a scalar, right? Okay, next. B cross C naman. So, shift 5, vector B. So, 4. Then, kapag cross, pwede nyo nang uh, i-input itong times. Okay? Then, shift 5, vector C. So, number 5. Equal. So, vector siya, right? So, 60, 50, and 93. Or, 60i plus 50j plus 93k. Okay? Okay? So, pwede rin yung parenthesis, inclusive sa parenthesis to denote 
uh, cross multiplication. Next, we have a cross b dot c, so the scalar triple product. So, we have shift 5 vector a right, so 3 cross, so times shift 5 vector b, so 4. Then, this time, dapat enclose nyo siya sa parentheses yung cross product ni vector a tsaka vector b. Then, shift 5, this time dot 7. Shift 5 vector C. So, 5. Okay. So, mahalaga na i-inclose nyo sa parenthesis yung cross product muna para ma-recognize ni Calc na dapat ang final answer is isa scalar value. Constant lang. So, PES equal. Okay. So, negative 102. Okay. Now, pwede nyo rin i-recall yung mga previous answer nyo using Shift 5, 6. So, yung huli nating sagot is mare-recall vec ans, meaning ito yung huli nating vector na na-store dun sa answer natin. Kasi diba yung huli natin is a scalar, negative 102. So, hindi yung i-recall nya, but yung huling vector. So, magagamit natin to kapag kailangan nating maghanap ng magnitude ng, let's say, nag-cross product tayo o nag-operate tayo ng vector. Tapos, kailangan natin yung magnitude nun. I-abs nyo lang tapos shift vec ans. Okay, so halimbawa ito, kunin natin yung magnitude nitong huling nakuha nating vector. Shift, hype, abs, then shift 5, tapos 6. Yung huling vector, hanapin natin yung magnitude. Which is 75.392.3073. Okay? Okay, so ganun lang gumamit ng calculator kapag magsasolve tayo ng different vector operations. So next time na kapag kailangan nyo mag-solve ng vector operations, sa different applications like nga dun sa engineering mechanics or other engineering subjects involving vector operations, pwede nyo nalang gamitin itong calculator para mas madali yung computations. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video, solving vector operations using calculator. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.